Okay, so I want to do a quick swatch here before I get started. I don't want to end up ending the video and forgetting to do this. Okay, so this is just a quick swatch of the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear SPF 20 Talc Free Oso oh Radiant Mineral Face Powder. Okay. This is what it looks like here. Um, it is a very natural looking color on me. The color is creamy natural and I do feel it blends very well with my skin tone. It evens my skin tone out and um, yeah, I just think it's a good match. It does have a shiny sheen to it. So keep in mind if you do not like your powder to have that sheen or that shine to it, this might not be the product for you. But anyhow, okay, keep watching if you want to hear my product review on this product. Take care now. Be back with you. Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a cosmetic makeup review, a makeup product review for you beauties today. Okay, so everybody knows that I really am drawn to the product lines of Physician Formula. I like Physician's Formula very well. Now, with that having been said, there are a few products that I have bought from Physician's Formula, obviously, just like any other product line that I actually do not like. Now, um, a while back, I did the product reviews over the Physicians Formula, the uh, Moroccan Wear, Oregon Wear product line. Now, if you watch those product reviews, I, I must um, just tell you now that the smell of the products, I absolutely despise the smell of those products. The smell is so offensive to me. It just, ugh. I have scent sensitivity issues. I have bad sinus problems. Uh, I am one of these people, unfortunate, that smells uh, coming from my makeup or my cosmetic smells bother me very bad. So, and besides, years ago, I did have a failed sinus surgery that did not work. But anyways, the Moroccan Argan Wear, woo, I just do not like the smell. Now, with that having been said, I'd like to go ahead and get into this. Um, this powder is fragrance free. Absolutely love that. Respect that. I was so stoked and so happy when I read that it was fragrance free. And I bought this at Target and I just, oh yeah, I am loving the no smell from this powder. It is so refreshing in comparison to the Argan and Moroccan Wear uh, line. Okay, so this one right here, this is obviously Physician's Formula. This is the Mineral Wear. This is talc free. Oh, so radiant powder. Um, this is a mineral powder. It has SPF 20 in it. Broad spectrum, which I love that because I spend too much time in the sun, probably. Okay, so I love the fact of that. It says oxygen boosting technology. Uh, yeah, no, I would be a little skeptical of that, seriously. Um, for a makeup, a cosmetic to make a claim of oxygen boosting, seriously. Uh, that must be a little marketing hype, if you know what I mean. So I'm not going to you know, buy into that. Okay, but anyhow, it says it's healthy glow, uh, flawless finish. Uh, yeah, like I said, supports the oxygen flow to skin. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. I am I am not uh, going to follow that. So, anyhow, there's the side of the box. It says it's for extra sensitive skin. It's for breakout prone skin. It says minimalist formula helps reduce irritations for people that break out. Now, I am not prone to acne. I'm not prone to breakouts. I have been blessed in that department, but there are so many beautiful skinned people out here. So many beautiful ladies' faces out here that are prone to acne. So keep that in mind. This is um, friendly uh, for your face if you break out. So that's good. Love that. And let's see. It says... Fragrance-free, yes, score. Like I said, number one concern there, I love, there's no fragrance. Absolutely love it. This is paraben-free, I love that as well. Gluten-free, hypoallergenic, dermatologist-tested, uh, dermatologist-approved, excuse me, not accommodogenic, will not clog up your pores. Okay, so there's the back of the box. Obviously, it has sunscreen, which I think is a great thing. 
Okay, so um, yeah, I, I really do like this powder. Um, I just use it basically with a kabuki brush or I blend it in with a, a foundation brush, a powder brush, any kind of brush. So what I would like to point out though, it does have a very strong sheen to this product. Some of the Physicians Formula products do. And I know for some people that has been a complaint, um, getting the glitter effect or the sheen effect. Now, this product does not have glitter, but it has a sheen effect. So it gives you a little bit of a shine shine going on. Now, if you have something against looking a little too shiner bockish, <laughs> Do not buy this powder because it is very a shiny finish. It really is. So if you have oily skin and you don't want to look like an oil slick or, you know, too much shiner bock going on, if you know what I mean, I would not honestly recommend this product. Now, with that having been said, I want to just reiterate my skin type. And I know all you guys already know this from my videos. I have very dry, sensitive skin. And yeah, so my skin's very dry. So I really do not have a problem wearing something shiny or shiner bockish <laughs> or too sheeny, if you know what I mean. So keep in mind, it does have that film and that layer of shine, and it does go on with some shimmer. So you're not going to get a very flat matte uh, complexion with this product. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell the truth. All honesty is always so. If you're going for the, a very a dry look or a very matte finish, a duller appearance, which, you know, is a good thing, particularly if you have oily skin or anything like that, um, or if you are... Um, yeah, if you just, if that's just your skin type in general, you, you know what I'm talking about. You, you understand what I mean. Uh, if you're familiar with makeup and cosmetics, and we all are because we are addicted. But anyhow, it will give you a very shiny appearance. Now, um, I would prefer more of a matte finish, yes, all honesty, but it doesn't bother me too much. Now, I do appreciate the fact that the color is pretty true to the color. The uh, color here is... Creamy Natural 6213. So that's the color, Creamy Natural. Um, so I find it stays very true to the color. And I know this has been a complaint for years, personally, for my skin and my skin type and all that good stuff. A lot of powders turn very orange on me, which really, oh, it looks yucky. Now, I didn't turn too orangish with this product. And I don't know if that's just the chemistry of my skin, just, uh, you know, my sebaceous glands, the, um, I don't know. But anyhow, I turn very orange with a lot of powders. So I did love the fact that I did not turn orange with this powder. And I love the fact that it's truly unscented and it come with some type of brush here. If I can get the product to lift up. Ah, yes, one, one hand wonder there. Whoops. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, and there's a mirror under there. I don't want to blind you with the mirror, but... Anyhow, this is the brush it comes with. I never use the brushes that come with these products originally or initially because they're too small. They frustrate me. And I just, you know, I just go for basically the kabuki brushes or any other type of cosmetic brush that I might have in my vanity at the time. Um, yeah, I would like to go ahead and take a quick swatch of this product here. And I brought these, um, just these latex cosmetic rounds. Actually, I think they are latex, but yeah. I don't know what you call these, makeup sponges, latexes, makeup rounds. Um, yeah, so that's what the color looks like. And what I do like about this powder is you can put, apply it very lightly. You could blend it in very well, or you can build it up to a very um, thick finish, okay? So you can almost build up to like you're wearing a mask with this product, or you could stay on the down low, more on the natural end, more of the, the minimal, no makeup, makeup look. And you can just blend it in a quick light layer of this product. And it looks good that way as well. Um, I did find the more I built it up and the more uh, like a mask that I made it, it did look very cakey and it did settle into my pores. So I did not like that. The first few times I wore it, I built it up a little too heavy, went a little heavy handed. And that is exactly what happened to me was it settled into my pores and I look like mask lady. Okay. And I really don't like that mask look for me personally. It just some people that actually looks really good on, believe it or not. I'm just not one of them, but um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that sheen I was talking about, so you get a little shiny, shiny going on. So, yeah, anyways, I like the powder, but be careful uh, with the shiny, shiny uh, sheen of it. And also be careful if you do build it up because it can and will sink into your pores. Now, I don't have any wrinkles or any lines on my faces or any creases like that, which... I guess I'm blessed in that department as well. But um, I would assume that if you have any fine lines or any crinkles or wrinkles on your face and you do build it up a little too much, I would guarantee almost that it would sink into your wrinkles or your lines or your uh, crinkles. So just keep that in mind as well. Just start out slow with this product. Get familiar with it. See if you like this product. Go ahead and give it a try. I do like the fact that it is unscented. I keep reiterating that. Yes, I know. Broken record. But I so love and respect the fact that it is unscented. Bought it at Target, and I will put in the down bar below what I paid for it. So, happy makeup -ing, happy cosmetic artistry, and I hope you enjoyed this product review. The Physician's Formula, this is the Mineral Wear. This is a talc-free, oh-so-radiant powder, SPF 20. Okay, so, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Be sure to give me a like. As always, happy makeup shopping. Bye, beauties. Love you guys.